I was in the I was in the shower and I had a um a vision. It was about how um how the like the devil in the industry like it was, it was they burnt is he brainwashing the children that listen to the rap and stuff like that. Um and it was it was three it was three like rappers. They was like they were dressed up like if they was with the cross and stuff and they had the holy water and they were bald and uh it was like they was rapping in the video in my head they was rapping um about how like uh, the industry and stuff and, and how uh it was brainwashing the children and the children that it was black kids they had their earbuds in and even the like the the rich black kids, like the wealthy black kids, they had the the earbuds in and their their parents that like was successful and stuff, I they were sitting it was it was a pool. It was a pool, um and they they sat back and they was counting their money and stuff. And you're not paying it, they weren't paying attention to the children or what the children were listening to and stuff and like they were just doing what they did and like they really didn't care about their children and um and they the children I think I had seen like they they are uh, they looked like they was possessed and the the uh while the rappers they was rapping and they was throwing holy water on them while they was rapping and stuff and uh what is it? And they were just saying how like in uh they were saying how like uh uh how what like when when they when the rappers and stuff, like how they influence the children and stuff and how they make the children uh do bad stuff. Even the the, the children from the struggle, uh uh that really got it hard the the rappers influenced them to like do what they what they rapping about like uh like if if you don't got the money you go out there and go steal or you will go and and do stuff like that just cuz you don't have it and you can't get it uh and so that's what uh that vision that I had um I think that was the end of the vision, but it was it was it was short. Um, it was just about how like um, how the industry, and it was like the the key concept was like um, we're dealing with some monsters here. Don't let them take over your town. That was like the the whole time. It was it was like old. It was like old. It was like old school. Um, old school music like um playing like back from the like back like old school music like boom like um the boom box type music mm -hmm. and they were just and they was with the the um the three um rappers was rapping off of that and, and their key their key town was like we're dealing with some monsters here don't let them take over your town wow Thank you for sharing that with me, David. Okay. All right. This is, um, I went in and came into my son's room, and he was sitting there writing. Pick up the um the book he was writing on. Mm -hmm. So he was sitting there writing. Uh, I thought he, um, thought they just wanted to sleep with the, thought they wanted to sleep with the, um, with the lights on. And, um, and... That's what um. So he told me about this vision that he had, and he was that's what he was writing down. So I uh, want to record it and and um, share it with everyone. Listen, we gotta seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Um, everything we need is gonna be added to us. We can't be blinded by the world. The Bible says um, religion. Pure religion and undefiled before God is this: to visit the, um, the the fatherless 
and um, the women, the wives, the widows, um, and their affliction to visit the fatherless and the widows and their affliction. And the last thing it says, and to keep yourself unspotted from the world. We have to not love the things of this world, the industry, and just the world in general is promoting their um, agenda, which is a lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. And the Bible says any man that's a friend of this world is an enemy of God. And so it's time for us to um, not be spotted with this world, to keep ourselves unspotted from this world. So the Bible says pure religion and undefiled before God is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep yourself unspotted from the world. All right, this is David McDonald. Um, he's David McDonald also. Um, and um, hey, we stand only by the grace of God, not by our works, least we should boast. But if God speaks something, um, he's speaking it because he wants us to obey it. And he'll give us the grace to obey what he says. Um, Paul said, by the grace of God, I work more abundantly than them all. He's talking about all the rest of the apostles. The grace that was on him enabled him to do what he couldn't do in his normal, um, his normal flesh. So just want to encourage you. Yeshua, Jesus is the only way. He loved you. He died for you. And three days after he died, he got up from the dead with power. And through this Jesus, you can have everlasting life. All right. Bye.